Hey everybody, welcome back to the Executive Gardener channel. This is a uh, uh, second episode on growing pepper plants. So, as you can see from the pepper plants that I have here, uh, and I'm going to be behind the camera the whole time, I feel like uh, some of these big YouTube guys like Gary uh, Polarczyk and others that uh, don't show their face, so please uh, bear with me, but uh, it's easier for you to focus on the plants for this uh, brief video. So if you look at my pepper seeds, uh, this is about day 13, day 14. You see I've had a pretty good success rate. So overall, I'll use a pen to point the Spanish red. I've had 50% germination, 75% germination, California wonder. The only one that didn't do well was a Costa Rican red pepper, 25%. 75%, uh, actually across the board, about 80% in the Jimmy Nardello pepper, and then 75% um, germination with the giant Marconi pepper. So overall, again, these little grow pots do a great job with all my travel, and uh, again, it's under a heat map. Now, you'll notice outside for this episode, I have them uh, outside in the sun. So it's 70 degrees here in Houston, Texas on, uh, was it uh, February, uh, the weekend of February 13th, 2016 uh now i know some of my friends up in the northeast it's uh, like zero degrees so they couldn't possibly do this or the plants would die as you know pepper plants are a warm uh season crop and so i brought them out here the reason i brought them out there is i do keep them under uh as you've seen my my previous video episode one i do keep them under a uh heat lamp i showed you that i think it's the agrofarm heat lamp for about eight to ten hours a day uh, i do keep the light about here not too close but about here but what I like to do is when I can is since it's not too hot I like to get it out to the Sun uh, and it's important let me talk a little bit about uh, sunlight and natural light as it relates to growing plants so this is often a debated topic for people that grow seedlings but as you'll see I've done this for my seedlings and they're doing fairly good here in the second episode which is about week two uh, of my germination with pepper plants so um, as you know, there's many different wavelengths in the spectrum of light. So, if you look from the left side of the chart, uh, you have the blue uh, wavelengths, which are the ultraviolet uh, wavelengths. And then on the far right, you have the red wavelengths, which are the longer wavelengths. Um, and so, the, 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 cool, the cool ones are the ultraviolet ones, known as blue. And on the right side of the spectrum is called the warm light. And I'll see if I can put a picture up there so you folks can see what I'm talking about here. Um, but but uh, it's important, most grow lights, indoor grow lights, unless you get a really expensive one, focus on the, um, the red and the blue. And uh, the red and blue are most important for photosynthesis. So as most of you know, photosynthesis is the process of the leaves, which act as solar panels, capturing light energy and turning it into chemical energy which is called energy transformation, which causes the growth of the plant and eventually the stem growing and then developing flowers and all that great stuff and fruit for you. So, uh, but uh, if you look at the light spectrum, you have many different uh, rays of light. Uh, from the left, you have blue, you have uh, green, you have yellow, you have some orange, and then red on the right-hand side of the chart. So again, Green and red are the most important for the photosynthesis process, but I'm going to talk about yellow and green. So yellow and green uh, are uh, wavelengths that you are difficult to get with indoor grow lights, but you will get it from the sun. And I just feel like there's nothing that replaces natural sunlight. So if I'm going to have my plants inside, uh, you know, for four days a week or five days a week while I travel, it's important if it's nice to get them out in the sun for two or three hours, four hours, if it's not too hot. Um, number one, you harden them off. And number two, you get those yellow, green, and some of the orange um, spectrums of light, which aren't available mostly with indoor grow lights. And uh, where red and blue wavelengths are critical for the growth of a plant and photosynthesis in energy transformation, uh, it is proven that some green and yellow light does get into the plants, although most of the green and yellow wavelengths are bounced off of the leaves and so forth, but uh, most of the plants uh, do get the extra brilliant cover, uh, color excuse me, from the uh, green and yellow wavelengths. So I like to do it. It's like a treat for the plants and they tend to respond and grow quicker. Again, nothing, nothing substitutes natural sunlight. But again, if you're going to put these seedlings out at this young age, 
be careful. Uh, 68, 70 degrees here, I'm not worried about it much. Um, but if it's 80, 90, they'll die. So harden them off for an hour or two, uh, get them out, get them some of the all spectrums of the light, and there they go. So as you'll see, you know, back to these plants, um, I'm going to let them grow a little bit. I'm going to kind of uh, weed some of these Jimmy Dardellos out. And then probably by the next episode, uh, as you'll see, some of the first leaves are starting to get a little dark, and then most of the plants are starting to grow a set of their uh, other uh, regular leaves. So most of the beginner leaves are starting to fall off. So this is episode two. Things are going well. Overall, pretty good uh, germination rate in these pots. And uh, I'll catch you on episode three, but all things good so far. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Have a good one. Bye.